What's up everyone and welcome to this haul video where we have 50 pounds of Lego that I'm going to share with all of you today. I've waited to go through all of this so that I can share it with all of you. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the lady that sold me this, she was actually nice enough to go through some of it beforehand and sort through some of the minifigures. So as you can see, I mean, this is just a ton of figures right here. All right, so just off the top, part of a Captain Marvel minifigure, I'll have to look that one up, but that looks like Sabine's head from Star Wars Rebels, so that's cool. This minifigure from the new Imperial Marauder, another Stormtrooper, Snowtrooper, looks like this is a Sith Trooper. I actually never picked up that battle pack, so that's nice to get. And there's his helmet. Another Stormtrooper. And some piece of the Joker. What this helmet piece is from. But that looks pretty cool. It's definitely Lego quality. Maybe a Space Police helmet from a collectible minifigure series. Have, oh, look at that. That's Fred's hair. I don't think anybody else ever used this hair piece, so we may have a mystery machine in the parts that we'll get to here in a second. Looks like we have Rebel Pilot. That might be Wedge. We have another Stormtrooper. We have Clone Trooper. I don't think that's his head because I think this is this is the style from when they used Clone Wars heads. I think that's from Nexo Knights. First Order Officer. Looks like this one from Overwatch. We'll see if there's more Overwatch in here. Oh, we have Diva from Overwatch. I actually already have that figure, but it doesn't hurt to get another one. I actually think it's pretty expensive now. We have one of the Barbarian Batman variants. Another Star Wars figure, but look what they did to that guy's arm. I mean, come on, man. But everything so far is looking really in pretty good condition. I don't think there's many cracks or anything. I mean, it all looks pretty good. Wookie, no arm printing though, but that's okay. Still nice to add to the army. Pirates. It's one part of buying used lots is you'll always find some stuff that's non-Lego. Star Wars minifigure from The Mandalorian. Got an Imperial droid, and I think this is the one maybe from the new TIE Fighter, so we'll see if in the parts somewhere. Now this. This minifigure is awesome. That's, I think you pronounce it Reinhardt from Overwatch. And that helmet is one of my absolute favorites that Lego's ever released because I use that for my Witch King custom. But it's always nice to get another one. Got another one of these British Royal Guards. I have one of those in my collection, so it'll be nice to have a pair now. Steamboat Mickey. That's a cool torso. I think that may be from Red Skull, maybe from Marvel. There's Harley Quinn's hair. Senate Commando Trooper. I don't recognize that torso. That might be from maybe Speed Champions. Maybe that's a car logo or something. So for an overview so far, it looks like we have quite a few Star Wars minifigures in there. So that's nice. We have Mickey, some DC, some Marvel, some other collectible minifigures in there that are just randomly good to have. And I'm not sure what else is in here, but we'll see what we can keep finding. Well, there's another one of those torsos on a fireman. So maybe it wasn't Red Skull. Two more Star Wars minifigures. You know what? That is the zombie torso from Scooby-Doo. So maybe we'll find Shaggy and Scooby in here somewhere. Look at this. We have one of the little babies, but that's going to be super sad if we can't find his head in there somewhere. Looks like that's a really old Two-Faced torso. One of the Atlantis guards with a different head from Aquaman. Oh, we have Llama Suit Guy. Or girl, I guess, right now. TIE Fighter Pilot. The Batgirl's Mask. I just... I just found this one in here. That is War Machine's helmet, and I think that's a pretty expensive minifigure as well, so we'll see if we can find his other parts in here. You have an Ultron bot with a head that I think is from Star Wars Force Awakens, and that is, there is War Machine's torso. So I'm not sure if he has printed legs or not, but we'll see. And there is Shaggy's hairpiece. Carnage head with a custom hairpiece. Not bad. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for the minifigure portion of this. There's probably more minifigures mixed in with the parts. So I know this isn't all sorted out, but let's go ahead and jump into the bin of parts to see what we have in there now. Right off the top, there's three of these large 48 by 48 base plates. Five or six blue ones right there that you can see. At least one tan one in there so those are gonna be nice and all of these are lego brand so that's pretty cool so another thing you'll notice is that besides the minifigures the lady also pulled out for me this bag of animals so we have three dinosaurs in here two of the 
Stiggy Moloch and a Dilophosaurus. So let's look at those. So this guy, he has both of his arms and looks to be in pretty good shape from what I can tell. So good on that one. Have the original Dilophosaurus that's in that lime green color. I actually like the olive green one better, but this guy's still nice to have too. Looks good. So this lot has been surprisingly good at not having too much knockoff pieces. Another one of those guys. So he must have been building a herd or something. And he had these missing some horns, but we can get those replaced. And we have, to finish it off, we have a black bear. Always nice to get some more of those. An octopus. I do not have any of these in my collection. So that's a cool first for me. And then about one and a half sharks. I have this car from the Lego Batman movie, the Joker mobile or something. I don't think that's complete. The top of that does not look complete to me, but I'm actually not sure. Something right there, some kind of ambulance. He was building a base, obviously. Got some, these I think, I think these are from the Halo Mega Bloks set. So that's kind of, oh, uh-oh. Did you guys just hear that? That is the Brown Peace Syndrome. Those just started, that, that just started breaking right there. So I'm going to leave this because that just started cracking. So we'll take that apart later. So if you can see that, that's what that did to that piece. You know what? We're just going to dump out some of it. That actually wasn't terrible. I only think like three pieces ended up on the floor. So that piece is insane. I think that's, I mean, at first I thought it was a plane, but I think that's actually a train piece. So that's cool. I don't have any actual Lego train sets in my entire collection. So that'd be really cool. There's part of that Overwatch set. Look at that. I think that is from that giant buildable SpongeBob set. Would not have expected to get that piece in this. That's one of the really old styles for TIE Fighters. So maybe there's some old stuff in here as well. I'm not sure what that is, but that looks like it might be the top of some kind of Star Wars tank. Looks pretty good. If he built that himself, not sure. Don't know. Completely snapped Lego base plate. Look at those edges on that. That's terrible. How did somebody even do that? I mean, that looks like he cut that with scissors. That says John Cooper works. I do not know what this is. Is this a Speed Champions? I don't know. This is old gray. So there's definitely old stuff in there. There's another one of these pieces. So I wonder if that's the front and back of a train. I'll have to look that up, that set number. I think that's, I think this is a train motor. I am don't even know how these work. And it was attached to this. So I've never seen something like this before. This is a, an entire base for a car. But as you can see, I mean, it's actual Lego, some kind of death laser that I just pulled out of here. I think that's a Scarlet Witch torso. Some of the Scarlet Witch minifigures are really expensive now. So we have this cool piece that I think is from the space set from a couple years ago. We got the molded rock pieces. All right, next portion's coming out. So we have, I mean, look at that. Look at all that. That's not even all of it. Look at, you can kind of see now that that is an entire mountain. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I bought this on the Next Door app, which is for neighborhoods, and I paid $220 for all of this. And I think I definitely came out ahead on this one. But you guys let me know what you think. I know this was in the Inquisitor. TIE Fighter, but I'm not sure if that was in any other sets, actually. So maybe it's from that one. Maybe there's an Inquisitor in here somewhere. Look at that. That looks kind of cool. We've got a Darth Vader brickhead. So that will officially be the first built brickhead ever in my collection. More train wheels. That is a really old piece because these were popular. Pieces like this were popular in like 2001 with the original Falcon. Oh, look at that half pipe from when I guess Lego did skateboarding sets. That's a printed airplane piece right there. That's pretty cool or maybe a space shuttle. And it is official Lego. That's actually, that's molded into that. I have never seen this before. Look at that huge plate. This is one of those things where I've never done haul videos. So, I mean, I'm not even sure what my audience is gonna wanna see out of all this. Cause I mean, like, look at this. There's so much that it's like, what do I even pick out and show you guys? Actually building up quite a bit of these railroad tracks as well. So we'll see if we can make a full track by the end of this. That might be the cockpit piece for that Inquisitor. That's a really large printed Batman piece. I've never seen that before. And look at that. That is a second one of those motors. So that's really cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe he had two trains or something. 
See, because there's the one that I was messing with earlier, so who knows? That's pretty cool. I think that's from the Gamer minifigure Space Dune Buggy. That's a really huge windshield piece. That's four, eight, twelve. That's twelve studs wide. That's kind of crazy because there's a big old bow piece, but not another anymore. Got some full build for some kind of uh, Quinjet or something. Got some more miscellaneous cool pieces there. Another couple pieces and a wheel from Scooby-Doo. Anyways, guys, before closing this video out completely, I put out some of the minifigures that I tried to rearrange and put back together just so you could see some of what was included here with some more detail. Some of my favorites are definitely the dinosaurs. Those are nice to get in a collection. Some of the most valuable minifigures here are actually probably the ones from Overwatch. Those are probably the two most valuable minifigures in this entire collection. There's a good handful of Star Wars figures, probably maybe 10 to 15. You can see we have some like the Imperial officers and a good clump of stormtroopers. I tried to put them all together, but really the vast majority of the minifigures are just plain city figures. So really nothing too exciting there, but it's always nice to add them to the collection. Another one of my favorites is the War Machine here. His helmet and body and his head is under there as well. I know those aren't the right legs. I still haven't found those, but we'll see if we can find them. And as far as the parts go, I have to say that my favorite stuff out of this entire lot is definitely the train stuff. You can see the entire pile back there of train tracks that I ended up with. And I also ended up with two of those large batteries, a remote control, two of the receivers, and a bunch of the train wheels. So I'm definitely going to have enough here to now be able to add a train to any kind of Lego city that I'd ever want to build. Overall, here with the lot costing $220, I definitely still think I got my values worth, even though a lot of the minifigures are just from City and are pretty plain. And even besides what's out on the table, I eventually just bagged up a lot of the other minifigures just because it is regular City stuff for the most part. So I didn't figure that I needed to put all of those out here. But anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite inclusions are from this lot and let me know down in the comments what you think or if you saw anything else that you think might be valuable. And until next time, we'll see you later.